Hello, Concord Junior High. This is your math teacher, Mr. Rock, once again, making a math video for you. In this video, you will learn how to write parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel and perpendicular lines. You will learn how to write equations for parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, let's start with a few definitions. In algebra, what does it mean for two lines to be parallel? Well, if you have if you have two slopes, the first slope we call M1 and the second slope is called M2. In algebra, two lines are parallel if the slopes are the same. So if M1 equals M2, then we say that the two lines are parallel. And here's an example right here of two lines that are parallel. Here the red line has an equation y equals 3 fourths x plus 1. The slope is 3 fourths. The blue line the equation is y equals 3 fourths x minus 3. The slope is 3 fourths. So here we have two lines and their slopes are identical. So in algebra, we say that these two lines are parallel. We define parallel lines as having the same slope. Okay, lines that are perpendicular. That means the two lines meet to make a 90 degree angle. In this graph, we can see two lines. Here's a blue one. And here is a red one. These two lines are perpendicular. That means that they make a 90 degree angle. Well, in algebra, here we have our two slopes again, M1 and M2. In algebra, two lines are perpendicular if you multiply the slopes. Here is M1, here is M2. Multiply the two slopes, and the product is negative 1. So let's check these lines out. Here this slope is 3 fourths. Here this slope is negative 4 thirds. I'm going to multiply these two slopes together. 3 fourths times negative 4 thirds. I get negative 12 over 12, which equals negative 1. So in algebra, these two lines because their slopes, when multiplied, have a product equaling negative 1, these two lines are said to be perpendicular. Okay, here is our first example. We're supposed to write an equation of a line that goes through the point negative 1, negative 5, and is perpendicular to y equals 1 half x minus 5. So I need to write a line. It goes through the point negative 1, negative 5, and is perpendicular to y equals 1 half x minus 5. Well, when I write an equation, I write the equation y equals mx plus b. So I need to figure out two things here. I need to figure out what m is, and I need to figure out what b is. I need to figure out those two things so I can write my equation. Well, up here it says I want my line to be perpendicular, and the slope is 1 half. So that means the slope that I'm writing, we'll call this M1, I, I don't know, just 
the slope that I'm writing, m times 1 half must equal negative 1. So what I mean is this slope here that I'm trying to calculate times the slope of the given line in order for them to be perpendicular when I multiply them their product must be negative 1. So all I have to do is solve for this equation and it looks like um, I can just multiply by the reciprocal m times 1 half times 2 over 1 equals negative 1 times 2 over 1 so the slope that I need is negative 2 over 1 or just negative 2. So I got this. This is going to be negative 2. Now I need to figure out the value for b. Okay, it needs to go through the point negative 1, negative 5. And I'm going to use that information. I'm going to use the information that, uh, that x is negative 1. I guess I'll write this over here. x is negative 1 and y is negative 5. And I'm going to use these three numbers right here. Whoops, these three numbers <laughs> right here. I know that the slope is negative 2. I know that x is negative 1. And I know that y is equal to 5. I'm going to use these three numbers and this equation to figure out the value for b. Okay, so y equals mx plus b. So y is 5, m is negative 2, x is negative 1 plus b. So 5 equals 2 plus b, minus 2 from both sides, and I get b is equal to 3. So I have everything that I need, uh, which is right here. Well, let me go back, which is right here. So the equation is y equals negative 2x plus 3. Now, we can check this using um, a graphing calculator. All right, so here is the graphing calculator. It's Desmos. Uh, graphing calculator you can get it on online so I'm going to type these equations into the calculator and see if they are perpendicular and also see if the line goes to the point uh, I think it's negative 1 5 we'll see all right so let's type this in so we got y uh, equals one half x minus five. Okay, there's our first equation. Bam. Let's type in our second equation. Y equals negative two x plus 3. Uh, I hope this one's plus. Is that plus? Yeah, it looks like it's plus. All right, so hit enter. So here are the two lines. It looks like they... Um, it looks like they're perpendicular. Look at that. Okay, so the two lines look like they are perpendicular. And let's see if the blue line goes through the point negative 1, 5. Let's see if I can get this to 
work. All right, I think I can get this to work now. If I blow this up, I think you can see it. Negative one five is right here. So you see it worked. I did exactly what the question asked me to do. I wrote a line that was perpendicular and goes through the point negative one five. Okay, here's our next example. We're being asked to write an equation of a line that goes through the point one zero and is perpendicular uh, to the line y equals negative one fourth x plus three. Okay, so I'm gonna write down the equation for a line y equals mx plus b and there are two numbers that I need to calculate. I need to calculate m, which is the slope, and I need to calculate b, which is the y-intercept. So once I have those two numbers, I'll be able to write the line. I'll be able to write the equation that I need. Let's start with the slope. The slope that is given is negative one-fourth. It's right here. And when I multiply that by the slope here, their product should be negative one. So let's write an equation to help us figure out the value for m. So m times negative one-fourth should equal negative one multiply by the reciprocal, which is uh, negative 4 over 1. Let's try that again. So m times negative 1 fourth, the reciprocal is negative 4 over 1, equals negative 1 times negative 4 over 1. So this much here is equal to 1. Multiplying a fraction by its reciprocal is always equal to 1. So I get m equals negative 1 times negative 4 over 1 is just 4. Okay, so the slope for my line is going to be 4. To figure out the value for b, I'm going to need to use this information that I have about x and y x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So I'm going to write this here. Uh, we'll start with x. See, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So I'm going to use the equation y equals mx plus b. I'm going to put in the numbers that I have. y is 0 m is 4, x is 1, plus b. So I get 0 equals 4 plus b, or b equals negative 4. So I have all the information that I need now. The equation is y equals... 4x plus negative 4. So here's my original equation right here. y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 3. And here is my new equation. y equals 4x plus negative 4. These two equations are perpendicular to each other. And this equation here goes through the point 1, 0. And you can check this problem using Desmos, like you saw in the last example. Okay, here is another example. It's different. We, again, we need to write an equation 
Uh, the equation needs to go through the point negative 4, 1. But this time, the equation that we are writing needs to be parallel to y equals negative 1 fourths x minus 1. Remember, parallel lines have the same slope. So I'm going to use the equation y equals mx plus b. I need to calculate two numbers. I need to know what m is and I need to know what b is. Well, m I already know. Since these lines are parallel, the slopes are equal. So that means the slope is going to be negative one-fourth. That was easy. And I still need to calculate B. Well, that's not too bad, because I know, I know how to do this. Um, X is negative four. Y is one. I get that information up here. They tell me. So x is negative 4, y is 1. All I'm going to do is take this information, put it into this equation, solve for b, and I'll have everything that I need to write the equation. Easy peasy. So we have 1 equals negative 1 fourth times negative 4 plus b. All right, so this becomes 1 equals, let's see, negative 1 fourth times 4 is just equal to 1 plus b minus 1 minus 1. Look at that. b equals 0. So now I'm ready to write my equation, knowing that b is 0. Uh, y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 0. Or you can just write y equals negative 1 fourth x. And again, you can check this problem using the graphing calculator on your computer, uh, Desmos to make sure that these two lines are parallel and to make sure that this line goes through the point negative 4, 1. Another example. Uh, this time we are writing an equation of a line that goes through the point negative 2, negative 4 and is parallel to the equation y equals 7 over 2x minus 3. So I start by writing the equation y equals mx plus b. I need to figure out m and I need to figure out b. I already know what m is since the two lines are parallel. m is equal to 7 over 2. Now, all I need to do is figure out the value for b. In order to do that, I'm going to use this information up here. I'm going to use the fact that one point x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 4. So I'm going to write that down. x equals negative 2, y equals negative 4. And now I'm going to take this information all of this information that I have here, and I'm going to put it into the equation here. So I'm going to get, let's see, negative 4 equals m 7 over 2 times x, which is negative 2, plus b, negative 4 equals, let's see, those two cancel out, negative 7 plus b, Add 7 to both sides, and I get b equals 3. So I'm ready to write my equation. So the equation is y equals 7 over 2x plus 3. Check it. Check to make sure that's right using 
Desmos. Check to make sure that, that these two lines are parallel. And check it to make sure that this line goes through the point negative 2, negative 4. Oh, look at this problem. If it is given that the line 3x plus 5y equals 11 and the line ax plus y equals 17 are parallel, then what is the value of a... Parallel lines have equal slopes, so I need to figure out the slope of this line and I need to figure out the slope of this line so that the slopes are equal. Um, I'm going to put both of these equations in the form y equals mx plus b because when they are in that form it's easy to see the value of the slope. All right, we're going to solve this first equation for y. Let's see, I'm going to start by subtracting 3x from both sides. So it becomes 5y equals negative 3x plus 11. Now I'm going to divide everything by 5. So I get y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 11 over 5. So I have the slope of the first line. The slope of the first line is right here. Negative 3 fifths. Okay, here is the second line, ax plus y equals 17. Looks like I need to subtract the term ax from both sides. So I get ax minus ax plus y equals negative ax plus 17. So this becomes y equals negative ax plus 17. So now I have my two equations. y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 11 over 5. And y... Let's see. So I so so these two slopes need to be the same. I need negative three fifths. So these two slopes need to be the same. I have negative three fifths, and I have negative a. And I can write that down, if I need to. So I have negative three fifths. And that needs to equal negative a. So when I solve this equation, I can uh, take the absolute value of both sides if I want to, and uh, or multiply by negative 1. But I get 3 fifths is equal to a. So your answer choice is going to be b. OK, this is the last example. It says, choose the best description of the relationship between two lines if one passes through the points negative 2, 4, and 1, 6, 
Another line passes through the points negative 2, 3, and 1, 5. We need to decide if, if these lines are parallel or perpendicular or neither according to their slopes. So we have to calculate the slope for each line. So for the first two ordered pairs, I have, I have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's going to be 2 over 3. For the second ordered pairs, for the second set of ordered pairs, I have 5 minus 3 over 1 minus a negative 2. And I get um, 2 over 3. Since the slopes are equal, I can conclude that these two lines must be parallel. As I was looking at the answers, I noticed this one. It says equal. The lines are the same. How do we know if two lines are equal? Well, two lines are equal if they have the same slope and the same y-intercept. I know that these two lines have the same slope but I don't know about their intercepts. So I think I'm going to have to do a little more work to see if the y-intercepts are the same. Rats. Well, how do you calculate the y-intercepts? you got to use y equals mx plus b. So let's do it y equals mx plus b. I'm going to use this one for, I'm going to calculate b for the top one first. So let's see, um, I'm going to use the ordered pair 6, 1, 1, 6, 1, 6. So 6 equals 2 thirds times 1 plus b, 6 equals 2 thirds plus b, b equals 5 and 1 third. All right, let's calculate the, the y-intercept for this equation here y equals mx plus b. I guess I'll use this ordered pair here. 5 equals uh, 2 thirds times 1 plus b. So b equals 4 and 1 third. So since the y-intercepts are different, then the best description is that the lines are parallel. However, if the B values were the same, then the best answer would be equal. Lines are the same. Two lines are the same if their slopes are equal and their y-intercepts are equal. Mr. Rocky. Mr. Rocky. So I hope that you learned that parallel lines have equal slopes and that perpendicular lines have slopes when multiplied equal negative 1. Right, Mr. Rocky? And I hope you learned how to write equations with parallel lines and perpendicular slopes. Mr. Rocky. Mr. Rocky. Mr. Rocky. Look, Mr. Rocky. Mr. Rocky, look at me. Look at me, Mr. Rocky. Well, bye, everybody. <laughs>